And, and <laughs> yeah. we've got a rabid doctor over here. <laughs> he may be laughing, but if anyone's ever been bitten by someone or something they love, well, you may end up in the ER just like this person. My cat Franny is five-year-old uh, house cat, the sweetest little lap cat imaginable, except for a rather serious incident that happened about six weeks ago. I could just come home and I was playing with Franny with her little toy mouse and Franny bit me right on the top of my hand. I washed my hands and then I went to sleep and I woke up Sunday morning because my hand hurts so I got some ice and I put that in a towel and I wrapped my hand and I went back to sleep. I woke up, my hand just throbbed and ached, and I've Googled cat bite hand hurts, the results make me nervous. So I take a picture of my hand, which is at this point inflamed. I email the picture to my doctor, and then he emailed me back and says, go to the emergency room now. So it's been about 12 hours since the cat bite, and I'm at the ER, and they give me some antibiotics. Monday night, I think it's more swollen. And in fact, I think I have a fever. Monday, midnight, I'm back in the ER, and they pretty quickly admit me. They put me on IV medication, and these doctors keep coming in and out and checking on me, and there's you know, an infectious diseases specialist, and it's pretty scary. Tuesday morning, I wake up, and more doctors come into my room. They take a look at my hand, and the swelling hasn't gone down. It's spread. They look at it and tell me that I may need to have surgery. I, I, I'm taking it very seriously now. I mean, I'm a writer. I need my hand. The idea that I'm gonna need surgery is horrifying. I have to give it up for, for Molly. That has to be the best yeah. documented case oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. of a cat bite and what happened after a cat bite. I mean, that's like textbook. <laughs> Now, 80%, up to 80% of cat bites will become infected. Of course, Molly, you know this as well as anyone. So they went in there in surgery, and, and you said it, it was basically like wet tissue paper, your tendon? Yeah. It was an infection called tenosynovitis. Um, and they had to stitch me back up. I have two scars here. And they gave me a soft cast. And we've seen that a lot, Drew. I mean, when something gets infected and you really can't get to the infection, a lot of times you have to, like, debrief. Well, and, yeah. and in this case, I mean, that, that cat bite, and we know the cat fangs are so sharp and long. I mean, it's like injecting bacteria in with a hypodermic needle. And mm -hmm. in your case, it was the top part, the extensor surface, and you have a lining to those tendon sheaths. That's what gets inflamed. And if they don't clean that out, with surgery, that's what the docs at, at NYU did for you, you potentially, that infection could have spread to other spaces in your hand or that infection affected those sheaths so that your tendons actually froze and you couldn't use your hand properly. And cats have a type of bacteria called Pasteurella in their mouths. So when you combine that with these essentially, like you said, it's almost like taking a hypodermic needle and put, injecting it deep underneath the skin, so you had all this done, mm -hmm. very involved treatment, antibiotics in the hospital for a week, yeah. surgery, how's your hand doing now? It's right. much better, I couldn't open it more than this much at first, but I, um, I went to four weeks of occupational therapy and did an uh, exercise called hand ballet, which yeah, is um, right. like this, and then flat, and then a claw, and then a fist. And so, Mola, I think you could probably tell all of our viewers if you're bit, bitten by your cat, mm -hmm you need to go get attention, get yeah. on antibiotics. You know, of course, this leads or begs the question, how's Franny, the cat? <laughs> she's, she's well, that's the question everybody asks. They ask, <laughs> where's the cat now? Um, <laughs> she's at home, she's, she's a sweet cat, um, so I'm just a little bit more cautious. Molly, mm -hmm. we're so happy that you're feeling better. Thanks for sharing your story. Thank you.